welcome back to the c programming lecture series and in this tutorial we are going to design this cross pattern of stars here what is logic behind this how can we print this first we have to print star at this position then we have to print star at this position similarly at this position this position this position this position and this position after that we have to print stars in this position this position this position and like that so what is the logic first we will print this line then we will print this line logic is that this is uh, you can see on another side this type of stars this is easier for us to print this kind of stars how can we print them this is with the, this we can print with the help of for loop okay with the help of a nested for loop uh, in which we are taking the rows and columns this is row this is row one row two row three row four five six seven okay these are columns one two three four five six seven okay so we are using for loop here when for loop starts for row and internal for loop starts for column and each and for each iteration of the for loop each star is printed that time i have shown it uh, in my another tutorials now this time i have to print few stars out of this whole so i have to print only this star then i have to print this star then i have to print this star i have to print diagonal stars these are diagonal stars up to this point this 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 and this these are diagonal stars so i will first see the position of the stars and i will add that positions i will print this stars okay this is the uh, first this is row 0 row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 row 5 and row 6 this is column 0 column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 5 and 6 at this position row is 0 and column is 0 so when row is 0 column is also 0 then we have to print star so when row is equal to column 0 is equal to 0 similarly at this position this this asterisk is at row 1 and column 1 again 1 is equal to 1 when the position of row is equal to the position of column i mean when row is 1 and column is 1 and that position at that position we have to print asterisk similarly when row is again 2 and column is also 2 it is not like that row is 2 and column is 1 there we, ha we have not to print the star when row is 2 and column is also 2 so when the row number row number is equal to the column number so when i is equal to j when wh where i represents row and j represents column these values are i values okay so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the values of i and these are the values of j 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay when i is equal to j we have to print star here i is equal to j because 3 is equal to 3 because this star is at the position where row is equal to 3 and column is equal to 3 at this position row is equal to column at this position row is equal to column at this position row is equal to column we have got this 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 and this and this because we have got it with the help of the logic that i is equal to j row position and column position is same here also row position and column position is same here also row position and column positions is same so this line we got with the help of logic that row position and column position is same and if the row position and column position is same we have to print asterisk now the question is how this diagonal can be printed there is another logic behind this how this line can be printed i will show you it here how now we have printed now we have printed uh, first diagonal now we are going to print second diagonal so we are going to find the position of stars that are in opposite diagonal okay we have to find uh, we have to find the position of these stars okay so what is the position of this star how can we see that basically we have to print this and here this star should not be printed this should not be printed this should not be printed this should not be printed and this should not be printed here we go if we see value of i basically value of i i mean rows this is row 0 this is row 1 this is row 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there are seven number of rows including 0 there are seven numbers because 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 position is 6 but including 0 we are having 7 number of rows we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay similarly we will print values of j these are j j we are treating j as columns so we are we are considering j as columns this is 0 column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 5 and 6 okay he, this is the, this is a 7 cross 7 matrix okay where rows and columns are of where rows is equal to columns and rows and columns are 7 in number okay rows is 7 in, rows are 7 in number and columns are also 7 in number okay now we have printed this diagonal now we are going to print this diagonal so we have to start from this position 
okay so how is it possible so uh, i will i want to show you that i want to first write value of n here suppose n n is equal to seven what is this seven this is basically number of rows is seven and number of columns is seven so we are treating n as number number basically n is the size of matrix okay so the size of matrix is seven where uh, rows and columns are same in number and that is seven okay now n is equal to seven so keeping this uh, n in uh, mind we are going to find the position of this element how so when we are going to start from this position so if we are writing here row is zero and column is zero so i basically the logic here is i plus j plus one should be equal to n that gives me this position so I, I will prove it how i is basically in this at this position i is zero so i zero plus j zero j is also zero plus one this should be equal to n and what is n n is basically n is n basically is seven okay this n is seven so but this is not equal to seven this is equal to one only this is not equal to seven this is equal to one so this is not the appropriate position where we have to print star so i will delete it first so we have not to print the star at this position okay so we have not to print star at this position this is already printed the, this is already the previous star new star is not to be printed here okay so this time we have not to print star at this position now we will move to row zero and column one so i is zero plus column is one j plus one so this time zero plus one plus one is equal to two but n is seven 2 is not 7 so this time again we have to skip it we have not to print star here so we have skipped this position and we have skipped this po so uh, sorry we have skipped this position and we have skipped this position now we are here when it is 0 and this is 2 now i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 1 plus 1 and that is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 but n is 7 so this is not equal to n this is equal to 2 if it would have been equal to 7 then uh, this condition was true and at this position we have to leave it blank we have not to print anything here now we will move to this so right now we have uh, traversed through two positions this position and this position so this position we have left blank there is already the previous star that is printed and this position we have left blank okay now we are here at this position so here 0 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 i think 0 plus 2 plus 1 so i plus this 0 is i this is j plus 1 okay this is equal to 3 but this should be equal to 7 so again we have to leave it blank here as it is okay now we have to traverse to this position it the sum of this 3 plus 0 plus 1 that will not be also equal to 7 4 plus 0 plus 1 that will not be equal to 7 5 plus 0 plus 1 that will not be equal to 7 6 plus 0 plus 1 that is equal to 7 if you see here the value of i i is equal to 0 j is equal to 6 so i condition is i plus j plus 1 it should be equal to n and what is n n is 7 so 0 plus 6 plus 1 because the value of i is 0 and value of j is 0 6 uh, and plus 1 this is equal to 7 so 7 is equal to 7 that means we have to print star here so we have to print first star here we have left this position we have left this position this position now we are here and we have printed this star here similarly what happens in next step here if we uh, directly move to this position now we will see what is the sum of it is now we have we will directly move to this position where we have to print star so one this is basically uh, row is one and column is five one plus five i is one plus j is five plus one plus one 1 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 7 so it is equal to n and n is 7 so we have to print star at this position so we have printed star here we have printed star here if we will move to this position 4 plus 1 that is not equal to 7 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is only equal to 6 so we have not to print star in this position similarly 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 7 so we have to print star here similarly 3 plus 3 plus 1 that is equal to 7 we have to print star here similarly 2 plus 4 plus 1 that is equal to 7 1 plus 5 plus 1 that is equal to 7 6 plus 0 plus 1 that is equal to 7 now we have printed these stars also now we will explain how to implement it with the help of a program i have already uh, written a program a code for this where uh, we were initializing n to 7 but i will initialize it to 3 because i want less number of iterations when i am explaining it to you later on we will change this 3 to 7 when we will run this program first we will check it on 3 so i have declared i here i have declared j and i have declared n okay 
i i have initialized it uh, i have initialized n i have initialized n to 3 so for at this for loop i is initialized to 0 and is that i less than n yes that is less than n so our internal block of for loop will get executed where j is initialized to 0 so at that time j is less than if j is less than n yes j is less than this n so out of these conditions i have a uh, marked in if statement here with two conditions out of these two conditions if only one condition is true our star will get printed at that position first condition is that i should be equal to j where row is equal to column i have earlier explained it to you here that at this position i was zero and j was zero at this position at this position also i was one and j was one at this position i was two and j was two so i was equal to j i was equal to j so i equal to j wherever i is equal to j we have to print asterisk okay i is equal to j yes i is equal to j because zero is equal to zero and this is another condition basically this condition is to print this type of diagonal which will print this type of diagonal where i is equal to j and this is to print this type of diagonal this type of diagonal where i plus j plus 1 should be equal to n okay i have already explained it to you here in uh, this here this is the position where i plus j plus uh, 1 should be equal to n and n was 7 here okay similarly here 5 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 7 so we have to print star there so now uh, so we have to print star here because i is equal to j i will print star here okay this is space you can uh, add it at last this is basically to drive space here to because two stars should be having space between them to look it at and to look attractive okay we will reach at this point and here because l spot will not get executed this time and j will get incremented it will become one and j is also less than n because one is less than three if i is equal to j this time i is not equal to j i is zero and j is one so we will check this condition one plus zero plus one that is only equal to two and that is not equal to n so this condition is also false so we have to move into the l spot of this so l spot is saying that you have to print only a blank space here so i will print a blank space here after that i will uh, move to the end and j will get incremented by one it will become two and uh, is i equal to j no zero is not equal to two so this condition is false but we have an or statement between them so you have to check either this condition is true or this condition is true but this time this condition may be true because 2 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 3 and that is equal to n so this condition is true this time so either out of these if this condition is true or this condition is true out of these if only one condition is true you have to print star so we have to print star this time because another condition is true j will get incremented it will become 3 because we have to increment it again but this time j is not equal to n uh, j is not less than n it is greater it is equal to n so we, we uh, so this block of for loop will not get executed again and it will move out of this for loop where we have to insert a new line because here is written that printf slash n so our control so our control will reach here here uh, i will get incremented by one it will become one okay j will get again initialized to zero because it will it is uh, it it is uh, this for loop is executing another time it is executed for next iteration of i so it will become zero so zero is less than n yes so i is not equal to j this time because it is one and it is zero and i plus j plus one is not equal to three so it will print it will move into the else part so it will print a blank space here okay this will be a blank space here j will get incremented by one it will become one one is equal to one so this condition is true and this will print a star here after that it will not move into the l spot and j will get incremented by one it will become two so this time two plus one this time this condition is not true but this condition it is not also true because one i plus two j plus one that is equal to four but our n is three so this is not equal to three is not equal to four so it will move into the l spot and it will print a blank space here now uh, uh, j will get incremented by one it will become three j is less than n no j is 3 and n is 3 it is equal to n so it will move out of this for loop block it will uh, move here and it will print a new line here it will execute it it will move into the new line okay here i will get incremented by 1 i will become 2 i will become 2 okay i is now 2 and j will start again from 0 j has started again from 0 is j less than n yes j uh, is j less than yes j is less than n is i equal to j no i is not equal to j is i plus j plus one i is two plus j is zero plus one is that equal to n yes 
2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and that is equal to n so we have to print a star here because this condition is true this is false this is true i have already uh, mentioned that this is our statement and either this condition or this condition if out of these only one condition is true we have to print a star at that position so we have to print star here after that uh, j will get incremented by 1 it will become 1 and j is less than n yes is i equal to j no 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 4 so this time it is exceeding so it should be equal to 3 but it is equal to 4 because the n is 3 so again it will print a blank space here because it is 4 okay because of this else okay now j will be incremented to 1 it will become incremented again and it will become 2 at that time i is equal to j yes 2 is equal to 2 this condition is true and we have to print star here we will increment j by 1 j will become 3 now j is equal to n so condition is false it will not enter into this for loop i will get incremented it will become 3 i will become 3 okay is i less than n no n is 3 i is also equal to 3 so our program will get terminated and we got our result like this now i will run this code you can see the result uh, result we got stars like this okay now we will increase it n to 7 which was our main example and we will run it again you can see the result we, we will run it again you will see the result like this and we have got our result don't forget to subscribe industry technologies thanks for watching